What's going on guys? In this video, I'm going to show you how you can use basically the curl flat play from trips tight end, but you can run it a lot better from tray open. What's going on guys? My name is Cody and I want to thank you for taking the time to watch this video. If this is your first time visiting my channel, my channel is focusing on helping people become the best Madden player that they can possibly become. So if you want to get better at this game, I just want to encourage you right now to click the subscribe button down below. It's completely free to subscribe to the channel and it just allows you to be able to stay up to date with the latest tips and strategies going on right here on the channel. Now, if you take a look at this play here, this is curl flat from trips tight end. It's one of the best plays in the entire game. And we're in a series right now on the tray open, the gun tray open out of the Minnesota Vikings offensive playbook. The cool part is Minnesota also happens to have things like uh, the strips tight end formation, as well as additional uh, plays that you can come out of, whether it be from the, the gun bunch with the smash return and some of that stuff. It's got a lot of good concepts, right? Um, but what's really, really cool about this is what you can do from the tray open. And the tray open is really one of my favorite, it might just be my favorite for me, it's really a good formation. And uh, like I said, we've been doing a series on this. If you wanna get the full gun tray open offensive guide, be sure to just join my true fan membership. We're gonna put everything in there for you. So if you wanna get that, um, it's just five bucks a month to join it and you get a free, or well not free, but you get a new offense and new defense every week and alongside of a, um, a video breakdown on a pro player. So we try to give you like the best stuff possible. But anyways, all that to say, uh, we're going to be talking today about the smash play, and we're going to be using this play similar to the curl flat concept from Trips Tight End, okay? So really simple play, really, um, and there's so much you can do with this play, but you want to be intentional about why you do what you do. So uh, anyways, all that to say, um, this route to the X is a really good post route. But it's also really good when we pair it with a vertical stretch or a vertical streak. So I'm just going to show those two routes. Uh, and I just want you to watch this post. So I've got my flat set to 30, my curl flat set to, to 20. Look how it just kills the 30-yard flat zone, okay? So it's an easy read for a 30-yard 30 um, 30 cloud flat. Now, you might be asking, as I am, uh, do I need, emphasis on the word need, do I need a vertical pull route? Okay, so what if I just put a drag out there? Well, if I just put a drag out there, what you're going to see is that outside third will get into a position where he can play on this, especially if you have Tom Brady at quarterback. If you have Aaron Rodgers, you might have a better shot, but my perspective is you do need a vertical pull route, at least to make this super clean. It doesn't, however, have to be the outside receiver. So you could uh, do a lot of different concepts with this, but what I like to do uh, is actually really simple uh, with this is is I mean really honestly just streak the square receiver and then you can do whatever you want with these two guys um, you can leave them on their route um, another thing you could do is uh, this smash concept is really good it's very similar to curl flat so if I'll just show you so like Mabel coverage right um, this circle receiver is is going to get bagged by a 10 yard curl flat or 10 yard seam flat rather. So that's where I would tell you that if I were you, one of the things that I would do, okay, is um, you you can do something like this. Just curl R1, that's it, just curling. And you'll see this simple curl route creates this nice little, um, it's basically curl flat, but it's better in my opinion. And the reason why it's better is because you got an outside, um, you have an outside hitch route that's going to serve like a flat route. So um, seam flat zones, as a general rule, we talked about this a lot on our channel lately, um, a seam flat zone is really good at sitting inside. So on this inside curl, you're gonna see that seam flat sits on it, and he sits in the same spot a vert hook does. So as you can see there, I can hit circle relatively easily. The other thing that I like about this is this is a really good play. Um, so like if they use a curl flat zone. so. Um, sometimes I'll use a curl flat zone because a curl flat zone will get a little bit more outside than it will inside. So now they give me a curl flat read and now look, now your curl uh, to Godwin becomes your read. Okay, um, so you can hit both and, and be successful. The other thing that you can do on this is let's say they're, if they are in a situation you know, where they're doing a curl flat read, then you could run traditional curl flat. So you've got a curl flat zone and all I'm gonna do is this right here. Now this looks exactly like curl flat. Um, the only difference is this guy is flexed out. He's not a tight end. 
Um, I can motion him in as well if I want to on this play. Uh, I don't really need to motion anyone else. So I can motion this guy in if I want. Uh, but anyways, let's just show you this circle. Um, so you see here, curl flat sits there. So I take the flat, and we just get a couple yards. Okay. Now, another thing you can do with this, um, this is more, I'm trying to think about how to say this. This cover three, this outside third zone, I just think that it does, it's, it's kind of a finicky zone, uh, to be honest with you. So a, another option that you could do, if you want another option, is you could do this. You could take the running back um, and just put him on a ghost route. And then all you're going to do is just going to motion this guy in. And what you're going to see happen is we're going to have this, this concept right here. Now, why I like this concept so much is because of where these curls get to. So I could do, uh, this one would be an example where I would do traditional curl flats like this. But if you watch how this works, this um, when, you when you bring this guy in, now you get a little bit more room on the sideline to be able to throw this ball. Like I said, you can fit this in, especially if you have Aaron Rodgers, okay? Um, but anyways, that's the that's the read. Um, this is really good against match defense. It's really good against a lot of stuff. Um, another thing that you can do that will mess with people, this is more of a hot route master specific tip. But if you put that square on a post and you do two posts, that outside third will never play him. See how he never plays that post route if you use an outside post? So that's an option as well. It's also a good thing because it'll split cover two. It'll do a lot of damage. Like if they're running cover four, this is a great match beater. Um, basically just these this, these two posts crossing uh, is a really good match beater. And let me just show you, this is just this is like traditional cover four drop. But what you'll see is Square should get on top of that safety. He didn't get quite on top of him there, but he should get over that safety, which is really nice. And then you can basically, you know, you can't do that from trips tight end. I mean, you can, but you have to motion the, the tight end to the outside. So that's just an option that you could use. Um, there's so many things you can do with this. But like I said, this post route is really good. And again, there's also a lot of things you can do with this that we didn't talk about. So um, if you, you don't have to always want to go for the big play. Um, if you want to, you could literally run this play stock. I mean, in this corner route. Is going to be good. Look at where this, look at where that post gets to. Right there is not a great example, um, but that post just gets into such an interesting position on the field. So you know you can use that post route for a lot of things. Because for example, I could put an angle route to the to the back. Maybe put like a maybe put a curl right, and then maybe do something like curl flat, just like this. This is basically curl flat. The only difference is what the tight ends on. So if I bring him into compression and throw him on a vertical, now I've got that high-low between those two reads. And you know, then I can hit that X crossing if, if I've got a good look for him or whatever. But point is just to tell you that you basically have the same route as curl flat, um, but you also have all these other routes you can use. Uh, you can do something like this. I'll give you another example. So you could take, you could basically do this right here. Uh, so you do double drags and then you take R1 Motion him left, and now you've got the scissors action here. Same thing will happen. You see both of these guys will get over clouds. Um, you know, cover three did a decent job of kind of hanging over the top of them, but you know, you still got a really good option. So this play can do a lot of damage. Um, another little concept that you can use this for um, is really to put a little bit of stress on the user to the left side. So um, this is like a U-trips type thing. But basically, I'm going to put square on a streak and then basically put triangle on a ghost route, motion this guy across, and now I've got a flood concept, a really effective flood concept to the left side. This is going to force them. They can't sit in 30-yard clouds from the safety because the leverage of the safety is going to put him back in here, and we're going to throw underneath it, basically. So you'll see here, if their user sitting over here, in this example, we could do uh, what I would pair this with would be basically a levels concept. So I'll show you that real quick. So I would basically take um, I would take R1, put him on a post, put circle on a drag, streak Evans, and then uh, do the ghost route. This is a great route combo because this forces their user. Their user has to go get X. And if he doesn't go get X, we're going to throw X every time. If he does go get X... 
let me show you that what that looks like so if he does go with the the post or the, the corner then what you've got is a high low over the middle so he goes to X look at R1 R1 comes wide open over back in this area you've also got your drag underneath so there's a lot of stress on the user uh, this this route right here is really critical to putting a lot of stress on the user and the fact that you can motion it over I think makes it a really fun little play because um, you know a seam flat not gonna get deep enough not gonna get deep enough you're gonna throw that over the top of a 10 yard seam flat and then you know you pair this you don't have to use a ghost route either you can do a wheel route a wheel route is really underrated and the reason why is because it goes really flat so I can get you know five to ten yards if they blitz me on that wheel route, but I've also got that 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 um, that X receiver on the motioned over corner that's going to be a really really uh, really really successful read as well for me. So you know really what you're forcing your opponent to to give you is you're really getting them you're you're really forcing them to have to worry about this X receiver and what he's up to what he's doing. Um, if you want to use this like PA counter go, you certainly can. Um, so like Y cross type thing. And the reason why you can do that is you've got this great block and release route. It's really, really good. So if they're in zone and they see how he'll sit and he'll just pull, see how he pulled that flat in and allows us to throw it over the top of there. So, you know, you can use this concept just like Y cross. Um, and when you smart route this, this, uh, this post, it, the only thing is it doesn't go like five yard and then go. It's a, little, it's a lot deeper than that, which I think is actually a good thing. Um, and then if they blitz you, it's a hot read, right? So this is a good little play. This is a very versatile play. I use this for a lot of different things. Um, I haven't even talked about this. Uh, we haven't even talked about this concept yet. But let's say that you're getting a lot of this look like that. This is a great, great play because what you can do is you can motion, uh, smart route RB, motion them over, and then basically both of those routes are going to kill man coverage over the top and they're going to get over the top of the zone drops so you can get over the top of the defense right and i didn't get a great animation there but that's a concept that you can kind of build on with this but this play can do a lot of damage for you um i have i i, I would be kicking myself if i didn't show you this this is a short side uh setup from this but this is really really good uh, it's one of my favorite ways to attack a Mabel coverage short to the short side and basically all we're gonna do is we're just gonna put R1 on a, a flat and what you're gonna see is a circle receiver is just going to be a low ball and it's gonna be hard for them to consistently stop him you don't even have to do that um, like you don't even have to put him on a flat you can just leave the corner route and this corner route will really pull the zone and then you see that we're just dumping it down so smash is really one of my favorite um, concepts in the game because of what it can do to zone like there's really not a good like the best way to stop smash especially short side smash to the short side ironically because you would think smash would be a wide side setup but when you run it to the short side the best thing to stop it is seam flats but look at the seam flats even get pulled because because the corner route's a vertical route whereas a flat route is not a vertical route so that it's not in a grid of a vertical because he takes five steps and then he cuts the outside, it tells a seam flat to guard him. And so because of that, as a result of that, then what you're gonna be left with is you're left with a really consistent little circle receiver that's just gonna check it down for five every time, okay? So that's one of my favorite concepts to the short side. I also talked a lot about smash as like, a, as like more of a curl flat type of setup. So that's a really good play. There's so much you can do with this play. We might even do another video on it. But if you want to get my full gun tray open offensive guide, it's down in the description of this video. You can get it for just five bucks. Um, it comes with the true fan membership, which is basically a monthly subscription. If you don't want it after a month, you can always cancel it at any time. Um, but it's just five bucks and it gets you my most up-to-date offense, my most up-to-date defense, and we will be updating this thing every single week. So every week you get my most up-to-date stuff. Um, so love it. And uh, if you haven't signed up for it yet, it's, there's a link down below that you can sign up for it.